Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Just brought out a good scripture. I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Read that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter two, verse one. Look it out. Gather yourselves together. Says, says, come, says, says, focus, come closer to. Me. Scripture said, gather yourselves together. Right? How are we supposed to gather ourselves together? Cause think about this. You guys haven't heard of the uh, Million Men March? You take a million dudes that come together. What happened after the march is over? Did we achieve anything? Why? I want you guys to think, why a million men come together but nothing comes out of it? But the Bible did say gather yourself together. I mean, the majority of them are Muslim. The Muslim are educated people. So why does a million people come together, nothing comes out of it? You know why? I'm gonna show you something. What's your religion? What you grew up as? Christian. Yeah, but there's different denominations. You have no, which we have Catholic, Adventist, Baptist, Baptist, Catholic, Catholic. So now, you guys don't see eye to eye, but y'all all the same people. So which one, if that gather together, then nothing is gonna come out of it. Right. Because Catholics don't agree with Baptists, Baptists don't agree with uh, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witness, you get what I'm saying? Okay. Muslims don't agree with um, uh, Buddhists, right. or so forth and so on. And you find out people in every single church. So when that scripture is saying gather together, it's not telling us to gather together under wickedness. We have to gather under the laws of the Most High God. Let me show you something real quick. Focus on this sign right here. Right now, what is one thing our people are gathered together on? Come on this side. Under this. What is this? Oh, sorry. This one, my bad. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Our people are gathering under this right now. What is this? Give me Jeremiah 31, 22. What is this? Come, come guys. You ain't gotta be scared. We, we ain't here to fight you guys. Black Lives Matter. Do you agree with Black Lives Matter? You agree with Black Lives Matter? You agree with it, right? Ah, let me come out. Check this out. You agree with something you never been on their website. Have you? But you agree with Black Lives Matter. Now, let me say, we matter, but this movement does not matter. Right. This is what they believe in. This mentors the patriarchal order in a family. What that means? What that means? You don't know? Okay, when you're dealing with a family, patriarch means what? The father. So if you got a to have a family, you need a father, you need a woman, and, a, and, and then kids, right? So if my job is to dismantle the patriarchal order, what that means? 
to remove the men out the house. So now here's a question. Can we reproduce without men? Can women reproduce without men? So if their job is to remove the patriarchal order of the house, what this movement is really about? Lesbianism. Right. Right. These are the founders, right? These are three lesbian witches. Did you know they were witches too? Give me, actually, before you go that, give me Exodus 22 and 18. The, the leaders of the Black Lives Matters are witches. That's the thing they admitted with their own mouth. Peter. You follow? And read that scripture. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 18. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. The scriptures say, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So when, the, when we read in Zephaniah, it says, gather yourself together. Can we gather with witches? Does the Bible go hands in hand with witches? With witchcraft? It doesn't. So my, uh, our people is rallying around this movement right now. But to show you how much they don't care, when people die in Chicago under shootings, have you ever seen Black Lives Matter there? Bring it out. So Black Lives only matter if a cop shoot a black person. Right. You follow? So if Black Lives Matter to these people, why they are lesbians? Bring it out. Because they cannot procreate. Right. Give me Jeremiah uh, 31 and 22. What you gotta understand is this. The scripture, we tried everything. We march, we vote. What else? Where, where we at? How long we been marching? How long we been voting? Where has that got us? Nowhere. Right. You know why? Because we don't know what we did to get in the position that we in. If you don't know what you did to get in the condition that you're in, how can you ever fix it? Right. You living in a nation that don't care about you. You are not a citizen of America. You are a denizen. And that's your home. You got to do your own homework on that word. If you were born in America, you are not a citizen as a black person. You are a denizen. Right. That's your job not to go look up what that word means. You think your, uh, uh, your, your, your birth certificate means something to them? You have to renew the right to vote every 15 to 20 years. That's the, a citizen should just have a right to vote. But you don't. You gotta go to Congress and they gotta beg and pass a law for you to get the permission to vote. And when you vote, every every uh, candidate preach change, true? But what change happens? The only change that happened is that we went from having that dude as president to this dude being a president. But ain't no change. The hood remained the same, no matter who's president. They try to um, fool you with Republican, Democrats, under the Republicans, in, uh, let's, take, get, let's go back to Reagan. How was the hood? Then Bush came into power, how was the hood? Then Clinton came into power, how was the hood? How was the hood? Obama, Trump, Bring it what has changed? Right. Not a damn thing, but we so gullible, we just want to listen to people that's feeding you with lies. Right. The scriptures say, gather yourself together. Right. Under what? Under the banner of the Most High High. That's the one thing you haven't tried. That's right. Christianity is a force. Right. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 22. Mm -hmm. How long? It says, don't leave, stay. Read. How long wilt thou go about? Oh, thou backsliding daughter. So the Bible's talking to you women right now. How long will you go, uh, oh, backsliding daughters? Read. For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. Listen to this very carefully. A woman shall compass a man. A woman shall compass a man. In this generation, women, women run things. That's already in the Bible. But it was not meant to be so. Because give me a first Corinthians 11. Let me show you the order it was supposed to be. So once that order is not established, guess what? Society is done. And if you stick around, you're gonna see that very clearly. Don't move, don't go, stay. Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Behold, be followers of me. Uh-huh. Even as I also am of Christ. So we're supposed to follow God, right? Read. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Get to the point. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man, our head, is Christ. 
You see women, oh, I'm married to Jesus. Jesus is my head. The Bible says Jesus is the head of the man. Christianity is lying to you. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. No, Jesus is the head of the woman. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. So Christ over the man, man over women. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So the order is God, Christ, man, woman. So when these witches talking about removing the patriarchal order, they're going in direct opposition to the Bible. Right. right. No wonder they practice, with, practice witchcraft. You know, when, when people die, wherever they go, they pour libation in their set of prayers to the gods that they serve, to invoke that spirit that just died. Every Black Lives Matter movement is a witchcraft event. Right. To put spirits on our people. Give me Exodus 20, 20 18 again. We can't pour with these people. And then give me Romans 1. That's the thing. We want to gather together under Christianity. Christianity lied to you and, and told you that this was Christ. How did this image destroy our society? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.